Bless the Lord, warriors of God, Derek, and we're praying for America and time spent with the word. Father, in Jesus' name, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. And Father, we come praying the Word of God over these United States of America. And Lord God, we are asking that you will show yourself strong, that all will see and know that you are God and beside you, there is no other. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalms 112 reads, praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Thank you, Lord. Wealth and riches are in their houses and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. For those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous, Good will come to those who are generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs with justice. May the United States of America conduct her affairs with justice in Jesus' name. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news because there is no bad news coming to the righteous in Jesus' name. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. Come on. They will have no fear. Mm -hmm. In the day, in the end, excuse me, they will look in triumph on their foes. In the end, we will look in triumph of our force here in America, of our force hear my God of our Shia in our state, my God in Jesus' name, our state is about to receive <laughs> the breaking news of all breaking news in Jesus' name. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the end, we will look in triumph on the foes across the nation of Israel. In Jesus' name, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. That is so true. That's what America does. We're always giving gifts to those we feel that are in need and some have taken advantage of us and now it's time to get it all back <laughs> in Jesus name. Their righteousness endures forever. Mm -hmm. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The Lord will honor this nation. The Lord will honor all those who have been praying for this nation because God has called us to pray. No matter what, we side who falls on what side, at the end of the day, God has called us to pray and especially to pray for those in authority. Mm -hmm. The wicked will see and be vexed. I pray that the Lord will vex every wicked and evil person in this nation. The Lord will vex every evil and wicked person. My God in Jesus name in our state, the Lord will vex every evil and wicked person in the church of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. They would gnash their teeth and waste away. So be it, God. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. Now that's what we're going to pray over America. Whatever the wicked desires will come to nothing. Father, we thank you for your word. We ask that you will bless the readers, hearers, and doers of your word in Jesus' name. God, I'm asking you to cause the sky to open up. <clears throat> cause, the roof, cause the roof of the building to open up, Father, in Jesus' name. And cause your glory to descend. Mm -hmm. Cause your glory to be seen across America, Father, in Jesus' name. And allow we, the people in this nation, to see the reward of the wicked in the land of the living. May the wicked be vexed as the righteous see the justice of the Lord. We're asking you, Father God, to vex the court systems across this nation. Vex, oh God, every evil and wicked, corrupt agencies in this nation that are willfully doing that which is wrong, not so much in the sight of men of which we see, but in the sight of Almighty God, where they do not fear you. Father, I am asking you to put a fear of God in every person that is running this nation. Put a fear of God in every person in charge of the ministries of Jesus Christ, the church here in this nation. 
put the fear of God in the leadership of the state of New York. God put the fear of God in the leadership, my God, of the state, my God, of Florida, of the state of Texas, of the state God of Maine, of the state of Delaware, of, of the district of Columbia. God put a fear of God in that state, Father God, in that district. Mm hmm. Put the fear of God in the Carolinas. Put the fear of God in Oregon, Ohio. Put the fear of God in New Jersey, Vermont, New Hampshire, Connecticut. Father, put the fear of God in California. Father God, across America, put the fear of God in every state from coast to coast. Because all must see and know that there is a God. And beside you, there is no other. You are a covenant keeping God the same yesterday today and forever. Now, Lord, show yourself strong in our nation and in our time. And we bless your holy name on today. We bless those who are 100% with clean hands and pure heart, standing in agreement with us as we are praying for this nation. And Father God, you see, Lord God, the monitors, the monitoring spirits. You know who they are, Father. And I'm asking you to put the fear of God in them as well. And I give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Warriors of God, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God because we will stand by the grace of Almighty God. We're going to go forth and have a fabulous blessed day because no devil in hell is authorized, is allowed, permitted to mess up our day. Amen. And don't you let no one who cannot create a day mess up yours or frustrate you. On that note, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. We'll put the armor on. Hold up that shield of faith. Because we will quench every fiery dart of evil that dare try to come at us. We go under the stained banner of the blood of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus Christ on today, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Until the next time. Shalom.